address to the father of this bride and the mother of this bride quickly, respectfully march to the altar, please. The father of the bride march to the altar and the mother too because the mother is alive and is a Christian. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Who put this new note here? You just want to attend me uh, or to tempt me, eh? Please help me to give apostle this morning. Because I know that that person put it, yes, apostle. You know apostle? Wow. Look at that great man of God. Yes, come up, come up. I say should march to the altar. Um, are you the one given this beautiful young chap to this man? Yes, daddy. Yes. Give to your wife. Let me hear her. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I want to ask you, have this man done everything necessary? Absolutely everything. I didn't say everything. I said everything necessary. Yes. There are things that are not necessary. Sure. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, are you telling us to go ahead? Yes, sir. Congregation, I hope you don't have anything against this marriage. If you don't have anything against this marriage, all that you have about this marriage, you now shout and say, carry go. Again, once more. Oh, yeah, now. Wait. Take the right hand of your daughter and press it on the right hand of this young Samuel. Everybody, stand up and watch. If somebody give you a good, good gift, you, will, you use two hands to hold it. It's not, it's not common. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Amen. Now remove your hand. I want you to open the veil by yourself so that you will know whether there is muchi muchi, wayo wayo, or whether this thing is real. Please, take the hand, open the veil. Uh, turn around. Uh, look at him by eyes. Uh, yes, yes. Remove the veil. You look at her very well. Is it what you have vied for? Yes, uh, is it what you have vied for? Yes, sir. So we have not made you this uh, 419. Are you happy with it? Yes. Because I can see you are first smiling. God bless you. Now you hold your right hand together and you come up to the altar to take your vow. Yes. Hold them on the the Nefaka, please. Oh God, stop this picture. You are you, you are person Aka, you are a helper. Ah. Thank you, thank you. You are assistant husband for now. And after this assistant. You bow your way. Assistant uh, lady, eh? Uh -huh. Yes. Come in, come in. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stay there, stay there. Please, uh, our in law, from where? Is it from Adokite or Ondo State? Oh, you know what I call Ondo State? I call them the wisest. I don't know. I, I know that they are, they are not the most, but they are the wisest Yoruba people I have seen in life. Every, every one of them, they are engineer, 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 engineer. You know, I, I used to deal with a lot of them. Praise the Lord. So I want you to walk to the altar as well. We give you that honor. Yes. Come and stay behind these people, you. And while you stay with our son, Yes. Thank you, sir. Elema. Yes. 
um, in agreement because two cannot work together as if they agree. And you know the journey is very far. So uh, we want to ask you sincerely as a Christian, do you love this lady? Yes. And you want her if in your there is house? Any language to use. Give to Mama because now they be more important. Mama, tell us, tell us. Yes. You love this lady? We love her very and much. And you are welcoming her? Yes. Please, please. You know, last Sunday, last, last Wednesday, I dedicated a child here. And the mother, uh, the mother, the mother to the man is from West. The two of them have to come here for that dedication. I don't normally dedicate children on uh, Wednesday, but because of that acceptance, this lady became pregnant and the mother-in-law said, please go to the east, they will take more care of you. And immediately the woman delivered, they jump here. So what I'm trying to say, please, we are giving you this girl, eh? Reserve her for us. Keep, keep her yeah, for yes, us. Yeah, we will yeah, do God. everything yeah, to yeah, make God. sure that this marriage give God glory. Yeah. Thank you, my God bless you. Okay, as they stand, the witnesses, please also come. Where are these assistant husband? Stay there. Ah. Bring my pulpit. You have to witness. few minutes we are done the first question I want to ask is um, brother Samuel are you born again have you been born again and made a new creature yes. by the atoning blood of Jesus not by religions by God race yes sir yes okay um, in the same vein I want to ask you brother Samuel have you been born again you said yes now, I want you to respond to me. Press your right hand on the right hand of this, my daughter. Yes. Yes. Hold it well. In fact, hold it with two hands. Brother Samuel, this hand you now hold to be your lawfully wedded wife, and solemnly promise, God helping you, that you will be a true and devoted husband to her, that you will love her, even as Christ loved the church. You will honor her, you will cherish her, you will protect her, you will care for her the rest of your life, and you will keep yourself to her and to her alone until God, by death or rapture, should separate you. Will you do? Say, I do. I do. By God's grace. By God's grace. This is not religious, I do. You know all these women, I do, I do. It is, <laughs> it is by grace. And I know that grace will make us to fulfill our promise in Jesus' name. Now, as a minister of the gospel, I stand here to tell you to turn to her, look at her face, make this profession of faith to her. Say, I, brother Samuel. I, brother Timothy Samuel Oladako. Forget all those long, long names. Just give me short names. You know, my second, son, my second son is Samuel. So I love that word, Samuel. Praise I, the Lord. Say, according to the word of God. According to the word of God. I leave my father and my mother. I leave my father and my mother. And join myself to you. Join myself to you, Join myself to, you. To, be a husband to you to be a husband from to you. This moment forward, from this moment forward, we shall be one. We shall be one. And let the church say amen. amen. To our beloved sister, rejoice. Have you been born again and make a new creature by faith in the atoning blood of Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. Say, I do. I do. Say, I have. I have. Now, do you take Brother Samuel, whose right hand you now hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband, and solemnly promise, God helping you, that you, as a sister, as a wife, will be a true devoted wife to him, 
that you will submit yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reference to him as a head of this union, that you will keep yourself to him and to him alone until God by death separate you. Will you? I do. God will help you by grace of God. Then turn to him and make this profession of faith to him. Look at his face. Thank you very much. Say, according to the word of God, according to the word of God I live my father, I live my father and, my mother, and my mother and my relations, and my relations to join myself to you to, join myself to be a submissive good wife to you to be a submissive good wife from this moment, from this moment we shall be one. We shall be one. Can the church say amen? amen. Um, the assistant husband and the assistant uh, bride listen to this. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 18 gospel that if two of you shall agree in touching anything under the sun. So today we plead with you, you are not here for religion. You are not here for religion. Religious people are fanatical people. They are the people that have lost the grace of life. They do everything traditionally. And sometimes they enter into idolatry. You are here today to join your faith and to join your, your, your faith to this marriage so that this marriage will work. Will it work, sister? I hope you are from Igbo. Eh? I know, that's what I'm asking her because I saw her looking here and there. Concentrate, please. Assistant husband, are you hearing me? Are you joining your faith that this marriage will work? Say it will work. Say it's working. Say it will work forever. Sister, say it's working. Amen. It's working and it will work for you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't worry. Uh, but as time goes on, you will see that we have not made mistake. Pastors cannot make mistake at a row rate. Because before you become a pastor, you will have listening to God. Not hearing from God, but listening. And when I listen carefully, God said, go. And you cannot go and return with shame. You will go and you will stay there. And by the grace of God, I want to tell you that some of them will also be coming again and said, the one they traded is good. They want to trade more and more. So nothing to cry about it. Praise the Lord. Did you hear me? Nothing to cry about it. In fact, go there and prepare some places because other people are coming. Thank you very much. Don't ever tamper with this agreement from this day forward, regardless of anything. We have agreed with this union. Don't tamper with it in any way case. Just try to make it to be a happy union. Pronouncement to the groom. Join your right hand together. A miracle took place when you made Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The same power that united you with Christ. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The same power that joined you with Jesus. The same power that make you a Christian. Today, as a servant of God, try to understand. I want you to understand that this day, you are joining your hands together to become one. The same power that joined you with Jesus when you met him, Lord, and your Savior, that same power this day is available. That same power is joining you together today. Don't ever tamper with this union. Don't ever tamper with this miracle. Don't ever tamper with this, you know, signs and wonder. You are now one never to be separated or divorced. As a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, before the Almighty God and in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you as one today. You are one together. 
you are now husband and wife in the name of Jesus. From today, when you agree on earth, touching anything, it will come to pass. You have the awesome power at your disposal. You are going to notice a new realm of life beginning from today. Because the spiritual law that says one can put a thousand to flight, ten can put ten thousand to flight. From this time forward, your everyday life will be two times, seven times, ten times more powerful, more better, more spiritual, more aggressive forever in the name of Jesus. To the congregation, let everybody stand on their feet, both the ministers, as in as much as our brother Samuel and our sister rejoice and their family have signified that they have, be they have believed with all their heart that this is the perfect will of God for them to join together in the holy bounds of matrimony. We are here today to be a witnesses of this fact before God and this great company of ministers, great company of congregations, friends, and we are they have ple pledged their fidelity and love to each other. I, by the virtue and the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and by the law of our country, Nigeria, now pronounce them husband and the wife in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name and the power of the Holy Ghost. Are we happy? The wedding ring. Where is the one of the husband? This one? Okay, bring the two. I think you put this one and use this one to fasten it. Okay. Now get me the olive oil. It's just a symbol. Just want to say to the congregation, no, 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 no. Bring. Yes. Where is the olive oil? Praise the Lord. Please, uh, wedding ring is a symbol and it symbolizes two things. One, it symbolizes authority according to the scripture. Two, it symbolizes love according to the scripture. And that's when you put this, you are under the coverage, you are under the authority, you are under the covenant of his lordship. You know, I told people in this town, everywhere I go, don't call me lordship. That is not a good name. Who is the Lordship? Who is your Lordship? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So you are under his authority. And uh, according to the scripture, you are under that authority, woman. You are under the authority of your husband. That's what this string symbolizes. Another symbolizes of it is that as you see it round, so your love will be round. No diversion. No distraction. No defilement. Don't defile this love. So I'm going to bless this ring. You put it, you seal it. Ring is a symbol of seal. And because it's a seal, it's unbreakable. Can I hear a better amen? Please, can you do this thing fast? Time is passing. It's okay, it's okay. Father, as your servant, I stand here to acknowledge your lordship and to acknowledge your supremacy over this marriage. And I pray that as this ring goes to each other, your love will be sealed in their family, and your authority will be over their family. They are sheep, you are the shepherd. And as a pastor, a man of God, a child of God, I pray that this ring, as a symbol, this olive oil as a symbol will produce the fruit of fruitfulness. They will be fruitful in the body. They will be fruitful in the mental. They will be fruitful in the family. They will be fruitful in the finance. They will be fruitful in the society. I pronounce them, brother and sister, success and fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Pick your own first. You are on. This is your own. Yes. Yes. Bring your hand. Show her the place 
you want her to put it. Say I put this ring. I put this ring as a symbol. As a symbol of authority of Christ. Of authority of Christ. And the love of Christ. And the love of Christ. I promise to love you. I promise to love you all the days of my life. All the days of my so life. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Let the church say Amen. amen. My sister, take. I put this ring. I put this ring as a symbol of authority. As a symbol of authority. Believing that we're under the authority and the lordship of Jesus. Believing that we are under the authority and the lordship of Jesus. Therefore, therefore, as a lady, as a lady, I submit to you. I submit to you. I put this ring. I put this ring as a symbol of love. As a symbol of love. I promise you. I promise you. I will love you. Till Jesus come. Till Jesus Til the end of my life. Til the end of my life. After this marriage. After this marriage. We'll still meet in heaven. We'll still meet in heaven. So help me God. So help me God. Can the church shout amen? Are you happy? Turn to the church. Yes, yes, good, good, good. You know that everything is turning around. I can see everything turning around, turning around. I claim the indulgence of um, our brother, his lordship, uh, 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 um, Chris Ogugua, reverend, to come and present to the congregation this husband and wife official. Please come up. Is an episcopal order. Yes. Introduce them to the church. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Bishop. This to me is an international wedding. The best happening in this part of the land that we have been able to raise this gift and somebody is coming from outside to pick this gem. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you finest marriage I've ever seen. The best couple of the season. Woo! I'm excited. How many of you are excited? The latest couple in town. Please, if you believe them, go ahead and make some noise and give the Lord praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. present to the world today mm. we present to the world from life of faith gospel assembly one of the happening ministries in the city listen we have London in this place right here we have the word of God in this place right here Mr. And Mrs. Tayo Oladipo. Praise God. I, I let, let before, before I hand over the microphone. What is exciting to me in this wedding is that the father parents are pastors and the parents are also pastors. Can you see what God is doing? Just can you be excited here? Oh, can you be excited? I tell you, the bishop said this marriage is the best. I agree with him. And we expect nothing lesser than the best. Thank you, Bishop. God bless you. And you see.
want you to put your hand together. May your hands be lifted up against the enemy in the name of Jesus. May your hands always carry the belt and the cup of victory in the name of Jesus. May your hand always be wet, be wetted with wealth, riches, honor, power, glory, wisdom, and everything in the name of Jesus. In the due time, this year, two hands we grace heaven. And your mouth will always be saying hallelujah. Sister, rejoice. Rejoice. Brother Samuel, one of these days, very short, you are going to be Pastor Samuel. I have released my prophecy. I have released what? You know, the time has gone when you tell somebody to become a pastor. You say, hey, no, pastors are poor. Now lie. Pastors now have metamorphosed to be richest people in the world. Obrezioku. Is it true? And uh, remember when we said the riches, we are not talking about cash. There is no ruler you measure the money of anybody. I'm talking about spiritual wealth. About, I'm talking about holiness and righteousness, which is says, seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto you. So one of these days, you're going to be one of the wealthiest pastors in the town. I want all the ministers of the gospel, particularly the state pastor of the Winners Chapel on uh, Anambra, Anambra State, and all the pastors here, particularly apostle of this age on music, and um, Mommy Gio, please, uh, let's march to the altar. I don't know how many pastors that come from the Yoruba land, but all the pastors and the chief elder of this church, let's march for the altar to give our Episcopal executive blessing beyond the money. Be coming to the altar. Turn around to the altar. Mm -hmm. The blessings of the union. Yes, take it back, take it back. Yes. What you been waiting for? Yes, Sister, please come and kneel down here. Assistant to us, man. Assist, assist, assist. You are free now. Whether you go carry him, carry him. Stay there. Kneel down before the altar. Now, our culture here didn't say our tradition. Our culture here is that the ministers of God will circle around the family. Are you hearing me? Then the, the mama and the papa, you go and hold the womb because the wealth actually comes from the womb, not from the breath. So go and hold the womb, you and mama peace. Okay? Uh, the family, mama, come and put your hands on them. We are, we are about to start something that is beyond the imagination. Ministers, wonderful. Hold your hand together. The under Reverend Sister, sir. What Reverend? What Reverend Sister? They found. You know they hear ministers. They say you should come. It's an I religion ever. I had a bear religion ever. When you get to heaven, a man who's in Maka Siemens, a man who's in Maka Catholic, a man who's in Maka Life of Faith, you will only hear the sense. Praise the Lord. So let's join our hands together. Join our hands together. You are going to echo with me as I begin to pronounce the blessings of God upon them. You are on, where is Pastor Samuel? Join them. Yes, we are going to pronounce the blessings upon them. In the book of um, Galatians chapter 3, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, says, 
the cause of the law has been broken. Can I hear amen? Amen. That the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentile through Jesus Christ. Can I hear amen? Amen. That we may be the heirs together of the promises of the Spirit. And, and the first Peter chapter 3 said, A man and his wife are heirs together of the grace of life. Can I hear amen? Amen. And according to Matthew chapter 20, According to Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1, and the Bible said, All these blessings will come and overtake you. Amen. Please give me a louder amen. Amen. All these blessings will come and overtake you. Amen. Blessings shall thou be the fruit of thy body, amen. the fruit of thy ground, amen. the fruit of thy store. Amen. Blessed shall be when you come in. Blessed your family will be when you go out. Amen. Blessed shall be when you go out. Amen. The Lord shall cause your enemy that rise up against you to be smitten before thy face. Amen. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before you seven ways. Amen. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in the due season. Amen. In thy storehouse. Amen. All that thou set thy hand to do shall turn to prosper. Amen. And all shall be a blessing unto you. Amen. In the land you will be a blessing. Amen. In the sea you will be a blessing. Amen. In the air you will be a blessing. Amen. In the falling land you will be a blessing. Amen. The Lord shall establish you a holy people unto himself. Amen. And as he has sworn unto thee, if you will keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and walk in his way, and all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. Amen. The fruit of your ground, Amen. the fruit of your land, Amen. which the Lord swear unto your father to give Amen. them. The Lord will open unto you a good treasure. Amen. The heaven will give rain unto thy land in due season. Thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. The Lord shall make thee head and not a tear. And thou shalt possess the gate of your enemy. And thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be beneath. If you will hearken to the commandment of the Lord which I command thee this day to observe and to do, you will be a blessing. Today, I stand as a servant of the Lord. I pronounce the blessings of God unto you. The blessings above your progenitors. The blessings of the moon. Amen. The blessings of fruitfulness. Amen. The blessings from the womb. Amen. The blessings from the breast. Amen. The blessings of heaven. Amen. The blessings of the stars. Amen. The blessings of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The blessings of fruitfulness. Amen. The blessings of holiness. Amen. The blessings of righteousness. Amen. The blessings of faith. Amen. The blessings of love. Amen. The blessings of grace. Amen. The blessings of power. Amen. The blessings of riches. The blessings of wisdom, the blessings of education, the blessings of life. And all the people of the earth will call you blessed. You are a blessed family. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the church say, We can be coming down. On a new, on a new, on a new. Is it what you call in? Carry on your bulla. Chukulene, o carry on your bulla. On a new, come down, Lola, Lola. On a new, on a new, on a new. Is it what you call in? Carry on your bulla. You are not
Every day that the Lord has made, we ought to give thanks and praise to the Lord, Almighty Father. Papa never tire. Only for blessing him, Lord, I and I give I picking and plenty dollar. Hey, Papa never tire. Make you give him the praise. Sing, Ma, my Lord, I'm saying, Lord, I'm saying. Hallelujah. Excited about what happened just now. Can you put your hands together for Jesus?